नमस्ते लवर्स हाउ आर यू आई एम हियर विद माय न्यू वीडियो ऑन कॉमन मिस्टेक्स इन केमिस्ट्री पार्ट थ्री वी विल टॉक अबाउट द बैलेंसिंग टुडे आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द मेथड ट्रायल एंड एरर टुडे व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमन मेथड फॉर बैलेंस व्हेन वी आर गोइंग फॉर बैलेंसिंग द फर्स्ट डाउट कम्स इन आवर माइंड वाई बैलेंस वी बैलेंस एंड a chemical equation to comply with the law of conservation of matter what is the law of conservation of matter matter can neither be created nor destroyed means in a chemical reaction atom cannot be created or destroyed now let's have a look for balanced and unbalanced reaction a chemical reaction is written where the reactants give you give us the product the reactants are in the left hand side products are on the right hand side i've taken as an example a, a reaction h2 plus cl2 giving you hcl if we observe this reaction carefully and analyze it we find in the reactant hydrogen is two atom chlorine is two atoms but in the product which is simply hcl hydrogen is one atom and chlorine is one atom this can simply be balanced by multiplying the hcl by 2 now here if you look h2 plus cl2 giving you 2 hcl hydrogen in the reactant is 2 atom chlorine 2 atoms but in the product hydrogen is 2 atom and chlorine is also 2 atom means the reaction is balanced to understand it better let's take few examples first one mg plus o2 giving you mgo in between i will not forget to ask uh, my question for this video what is the formula for calcium carbide i repeat my question what is the formula for calcium carbide now come to the problem mg plus o2 giving you ngo if we observe and analyze oxygen here is not balanced magnesium is balanced to balance the oxygen we multiply this product magnesium oxide by 2 now the oxygen is balanced but magnesium is not balanced so in the next step we multiply this magnesium by 2 and now we have the balanced equation 2mg plus o2 giving you 2mgo another example for balance fe plus cl2 giving you fecl3 here the chlorine has to be balanced here two atoms here three atoms we multiply this by 2 and this by 3 so we get T to the six, two three the six, six chlorine atoms balance. But the iron, which has become unbalanced in our method of balancing, two iron here. So we multiply this iron by two, and we have got the balance equation two Fe plus three Cl two giving you two Fe Cl three. The last important problem is the K two Cr two O seven plus. SCl giving you the K2Cr2O7 plus SCl giving you KCl plus CrCl3 plus H2O plus Cl2. Problem looks very long, but to balance the method is very easy. Potassium here is two. Here we multiply the compound potassium chloride by two, and the potassium is balanced. Chromium here is two. We multiply the product chromium chloride. By two, and our chromium is also balanced. Oxygen is seven atoms here. We multiply the H2O by seven, and the oxygen is balanced. Hydrogen seven to the fourteen hydrogen here. Here single, so we multiply here by fourteen, and our hydrogen is also balanced. Now the last calculation is for the chlorine. Chlorine fourteen atoms here. Here in the reactant side, two plus six eight. We require six more. Here the chlorine molecule is there, which means two atoms of chlorine is there. If you multiply this by three, three to the six. So here also fourteen chlorine. Here also fourteen chlorine. We can check two potassium, two potassium, two chromium, two chromium, seven oxygen, seven oxygen, seven to the fourteen hydrogen, fourteen hydrogen, and fourteen chlorine. Three to the six. C to the six 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 twelve plus two fourteen and fourteen chlorine. So the equation is perfectly balanced just by observing, analyzing, and multiplying wherever required. So, uh, chemistry lovers, 
this was about the balancing what we are doing we are carefully observing analyzing and multiplying but new multiply inside the atom like here 2 hcl is okay but if you multiply inside the molecule i mean the molecule h2cl2 this will make the formula wrong and this will be the wrong balance now here please remember to subscribe my channel now what is the formula for calcium carbide for that the answer is formula for calcium carbide cac2 do you think how so so here the valency of carbide radical which is 4 is satisfied like this one car carbide to another carbide three valencies are satisfied and one one valency of the carbide is satisfied with the calcium which has the two valency so here i am about to conclude the balancing method one uh, and here why we balance to comply with the law of conservation of matter what is the law of conservation of matter that atom can neither be created nor be destroyed we simply multiply the molecule from outside we never change the molecular formula so with this i hope you are clear about the balancing please subscribe my channel for coming updates thank you very much for watching thank you chemistry lovers